What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you how to fix random crashes and crashes on startup when trying to play Eternal Return Black Survival on your PC. This should be quite an easy tutorial, but if you still have any questions, then leave a comment and let me know. First, you should make sure that your game files are up to date and not corrupted. Open up your Steam library. Here, right click Eternal Return Black Survival and select Properties. On this window, navigate to the Local Files tab and select Verify Integrity of Game Files. This will take a minute to redownload and replace any missing or corrupted game files. Next, you should make sure that your firewall is not blocking parts of the software. Search for Firewall in your taskbar search to open up your Firewall and Network Protection System Settings window. On this window, select to allow an app through Firewall. Select to change settings and then allow another app. Select Browse and your file explorer will open up. Navigate to the drive on which you saved the game on, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Eternal Return and here select the Eternal Return application and select Open. This will allow you to exclude the application from being blocked by your firewall and will for some users prevent the issue. In case you still experience crashes while in-game, then software running in the background might be causing the issue. Open up your task manager. Here, in the Processes tab, make sure to end all of the processes from running, which could show an overlay while in-game, such as Discord, Steam or your browser. Make sure to also prevent programs from running, which could use up your RAM and VRAM, such as Adobe applications or Shadowplay. Lastly, Make sure that your graphics driver is up to date. I suggest using the GeForce Experience application if you're using an NVIDIA GPU, but you can also use the AMD driver suit. Depending on how frequently you're updating your GPU, this tweak can make the biggest difference. In the Drivers tab, simply click on Download and the application will automatically download and install the latest driver. When this is done, search for Update to open up your Check for Updates System Settings window. Here, click on Check for Updates and after downloading the latest OS update, make sure to restart your PC. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.